And welcome to the DevSec 2023 podcast, sponsored by our good friends at Cisco. I'm Alan Dale. With me, as always, my good buddy Jerry Crew. Day two, start of day two, and uh, the trade show is a buzz yet again today. There's one company that always uh, makes a buzz when they're around, and that's Modest Tree. You always have great presence, great conversations. Emily, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and Modest Tree? Catch us up on what's been happening over the last few years. Sure, I'd be happy to. Well, we're happy to be at DevSec again. Uh, Modestry is a Halifax-based company, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Modestry. Uh, we mostly do areas of software development and services for 3D training and for the digitalization of operations and maintenance on complex equipment. So we've been providing areas of uh, 3D training development over the last uh, 11 years of our business and really happy to be able to support the defense industry in that. And uh, over the past couple of years, we've been developing technology for operations and maintenance digitalization. So we've been uh, presenting and talking about that as well um, over the course of DEFSEC and uh, we're really happy to be able to be engaged here today. Uh, Emily, now you were one of the keynotes and uh, for the audience that couldn't make it to your address or are indeed not even here, uh, give us a little bit of a synopsis about what you talked about. Sure, so I talked a little bit about the areas of um, what's next, so the missing piece for industrial maintenance and training, and really what type of digital solutions can be in place uh, through the areas of our Tech Companion. So we gave a sneak peek of our Tech Companion software suite and how we've been engaging with uh, OEMs globally regarding how they digitalize some of their work processes. So Tech Companion was developed uh, over the past couple of years in coordination with the Ocean Supercluster, um, in collaboration with a, a partner of ours, which is a gearbox manufacturer called Frank, and then also with St. Mary's University on the object recognition to be able to recognize objects in the field or recognize uh, core pieces of equipment. So when I had a discussion, we, we talked about the areas of how Tech Companion can be engaged really on the operational side. So when someone is in front of a piece of equipment and their workforce support is required for digital guidance to know what you need to do from a maintenance procedure, and so Tech Companion comes into play there, and then guiding somebody as well with a 3D visualization of your task as you go through, and then streamlining the service reporting. So we've been working with a number of OEMs over the course of the, the last year, really heav quite heavily, on how they're digitalizing their work processes. So how they're really providing that uh, maintenance side, operational side to digitalize a lot of their work processes, which normally would be paper-based and in the heads of you know, the experts uh, in the field. What I love about Monastery is that every time we talk, uh, I always see this beautiful collaboration between government, industry, and academia to find that solution space. And Modestry seems to be right in the middle of all of that. Fantastic. And keeping everybody involved, that rising tide floats all boats, right? Yeah, that is really true. Uh, we really have found that uh, when you collaborate with key partners, right, whether that's a, a prime or, a, you know, key OEMs, or whether that's uh, through academia as well, you really get a, a lot of different perspectives. And we come from a very heavy technological background. So we come with a lot of software development expertise, really modeling expertise, and then working with a lot of clients where their business is being able to uh, provide key complex type of equipment, and then they provide services also on that. So that's uh, really been a good collaboration to get those perspectives all in the, the same unified type of environment. And you really build up a lot of relationships as well. You build key relationships where you can talk about some of the challenges, some of the pain points that they might be experiencing, and then where digitalization or digital solutions can come into play there. And it gives you an opportunity also to test and validate those and, and have that real-time feedback. Yeah. You're working in the digital world, but yet relationships matter so much. And the importance of a DevSec is to build those relationships, foster those relationships. Has DevSec been good for you so far? DevSec's been great. Uh, we really enjoy DevSec. Uh, it has been near and dear to our hearts over the course of our company. Uh, when we were at DevSec in our early days, we were a handful of employees. And uh, 
way back when uh, it was in the Canard Centre, it was more of the early days of our company and then as we've grown, we're, we're just under 50 employees now, so as we've grown then we've always had DevSec that was a, like a core part of being able to connect with industry and uh, you get to know lots of people that are here and they're all doing very different things and there's really an opportunity to, to band together. To watch uh, Monastery grow over the years has been fantastic, doing wonderful things, making a, a, a great impact, there's no doubt about it. What is, uh, what's the most exciting thing on your horizon, Emily? What are you really excited about? Well, we've been really excited about the way that we're working with clients who are engaging for the digitalization journey that they're undergoing. So really, there's, there's a lot that's happening in traditional-based processes like operations and maintenance side where they would normally rely on um, expertise, they would normally rely on you know, paper-based manuals, paper-based processes, um, phone call conversations, and really engaging with them uh, to be part of that transformation of how you leverage digital tools has been a, a real uh, joy and a journey as well. Uh, when we've placed uh, some of the digital tools on the maintenance side with, with key OEMs or service providers, to be able to engage with them and be part of how they're doing their maintenance uh, in, in real time, you get to see the joy that people have with engaging with those tools and how it supports them in their workforce. And uh, that's been great for our team as well because when you do digital solutions, sometimes you, you have the digital solution that is delivered and then you hear some client feedback, but really when you're directly engaged with them and then you hear some of the technician feedback as well, uh, that's really been uh, a core part of the good joy. As you're talking, I, I, I can just picture your tech teams, and the conversations that must go on about the ideas. Tell us a little bit about what it's like, the culture of that in your company. Uh, the culture is really heavy for collaboration and, and having a, a high level of openness as well. You get to learn things um, on the software side. You get to learn things about your clients' operations and, and uh, you get to learn about you know, marine side, how they do marine maintenance. You, know, you, le you learn about areas of oil and gas. You learn about automotive side. So really, it's it's quite engaging that uh, they, they have all the similar challenges, right? They really have the challenge that uh, the equipment side is a complex type of equipment and you have technical based processes that need to be supported by a core level of a workforce and so you're, you're engaging and finding all, all of this information but you really have to be inquisitive as well and then see how that applies to the digitalization process. Emily, thanks very much for being on the show. Great company, Modestry, but it doesn't happen without solid leadership, so you're to be commended for driving this ship in the direction that it's going. We really appreciate you. Thanks for being on. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it.